So the man who vowed to use his presidency to bring America together, to unite the people, just gave a speech in front of a set that made him look like a demon deep in the bowels of hell. Hello, optics check. Demonizing over 74 million Americans as domestic extremists. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology. I know, because I've been able to work with these mainstream Republicans. Mainstream Republicans, otherwise known as compromise, sellout, loser, grifters. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Encouraging children to get sex change surgeries, though, that is normal. Equality and democracy are under assault. Democracy is under assault, says the same guy who just monstered half the Democratic electorate as enemies of the state. This wasn't a Biden campaign speech. This was him brazenly touting the official position of the US government, and doing so stood in front of members of the military. This days after he'd subtly threatened Americans with fighter jets. Do you want to fight against the country? You need an F-15. You need something a little more than a gun. This speech has the full sponsorship of the White House. In other words, what Joe Biden is saying right now is the official position of the entire executive branch of the U.S. government. That would include the Justice Department, the various intel agencies, and the world's most powerful standing military. Think about that. Does it make you nervous? You don't have to be a Trump voter to see a speech like this as a turning point in American history. Left-wing Antifa and BLM thugs spent an entire summer rioting and burning down American cities, causing dozens of deaths, countless injuries, billions in property damage. But you know who's the real violent extremist threat? Trump supporters wearing MAGA hats. And again, we see majority of Americans who disagree. And so when you are not with where majority of Americans are, then, you know, that is extreme. That is an extreme way of thinking. If you don't agree with the majority, even though Biden doesn't have a majority, his approval rating is 42%. You're a domestic extremist. What? That's literally more than half the entire country. What are you talking about? And these are the people who call Trump supporters semi-fascists. Take a look in the fucking mirror. You could argue this represents Biden's basket of deplorables moment, but we all know it's far, far darker than that. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.